slope fields. Slope fields are the solutions to a differential equation. dy dx is equals to f of x comma y. At x comma y, dy dx will give us the slope of the tangent line to the graph of the solution to the differential equation by plotting short segments at the slopes of the differential equation. Slope fields consist of just segments. In the differential equation 3x squared, this is the slope field. The 3x squared is derived from the equation of x cubed. And we can see if we graph x cubed, it will follow the slope field. As we can see here, it follows through here, goes up, do this curve, and then up again. This is an example of a slope field. In the function f of x equals natural log of x dy dx will be 1 over x. So we plot what is the, the slope at x equals 0. Let's plot here. 1, 2, 3. 1, 2, 3. 1, negative 1, negative 2, negative 3. Negative 1, negative 2, negative 3. So at x equals 1, at x equals 0, the equation, differential equation 1 over x will be undefined so there is no slope here at 1 the slope would be 1 it's gonna be like this through all x equals 1 at x equals 2 it will be 1 half so it's gonna be layers as more steep At 1 over 3, it's going to be smaller. So we see that as the x increases, the slope decreases. And since there is, it is undefined at x equals 0, it, it's a, a, a vertical tangent. So we follow from, so if we want to graph natural log of x, we go to like this. And so on. Another example, dy dx equals 2x minus y. We'll just graph from the intervals of negative 1 to 1 of x and negative 1 to 1 of y. So we do a table of value for dy dx that is equal to 2x minus y. So at 0, 0, it would be dy dx it is 0. At 1, 0, it would be 2 minus 0 which is 2 at negative 1 comma 0 negative 2 at 0 comma 1 would be negative 1 at 1 comma 1 it would be 1 at negative 1 comma 1 it would be negative 1. At 0 comma negative 1 it would be 1. At 1 comma negative 1 it would be 3. At negative 1 comma negative 1 it would be negative 1.
so we have the values so we just plug it in here's zero the slope so it's just a horizontal line at one comma zero it's two so something like this at negative one comma zero negative two so it's something like that at zero comma one it would be negative one so it's something like this at one comma one it would is one so it's something like this at negative one comma one is negative one so something like that at zero comma negative one it would is one so just a line like this at one comma negative one is three so something like this at negative one comma negative one is negative one so we can see more or less the slope so if we were to graph it when y of zero equals zero it would be at this point so the curve can pass like here and go something like that if it is zero y zero equals negative one it will be something like this passing through here so the derivative can actually help us grab the equations as extra pushes infinity these are three basic rules limit as extra pushes infinity when the numerator has a variable with a power less than the power of the of the variable in the denominator the limit as x approaches zero infinity will be equal to zero as you can see in one over x equals zero because what x is to the power of zero while x in the denominator is to the power of one since since the denominator has a greater power than the numerator the limit as x approaches infinity will be zero in the next example when the powers of both the numerator, the greater power of both the numerator and the denominator are the same, the limit as extra pushes infinity will be the, the ratio of its coefficients. Here we see that x to the fourth has a coefficient of one, and x and five x to the fourth has a coefficient of five, so the answer will be one over five. As limits approaches infinity, when the power of the numerator is greater than the power of the denominator, it is undefined because here, if we substitute infinity into any of these two, we get that the, the infinity squared, we do not know what infinity squared is, so it is undefined.